With the two year anniversary of the Saints Row reboot approaching us, and the reminder of how awful the game was, I always thought to myself, what if Volition never went down the road of attempting to reboot this once beloved franchise, but instead giving us a sequel to Saints Row 4? How would it work? Would they continue with the over the top storytelling and gameplay, or would they return to the more grounded and gritty approach? with Saints Row 1 and 2. Which is why I wanted to make today's video, that being, what if Saints Row 5 was made? For starters, since this would be a sequel to Saints Row 4, this would mean that the Saints Row reboot from 2022 would be completely retconned and ignored. Now for Saints Row 5, I would want it to be a more grounded game like Saints Row 1 and 2. Now that there can't be the over the top missions and crazy weapons, but nothing to the likes of Saints Row 4, where in that game we are fighting aliens with superpowers. Now I wouldn't be retconning Saints Row 4 with this game, the events of Saints Row 4 did happen, but the events of Saints Row 4 would all have taken place as a movie. Considering the final mission of Saints Row 3, Gangsters in Space, was a movie that the Saints were filming. Maybe the events of Saints Row 4 would be a movie called The President in Space, and it would have been a commercial failure, and everybody would have hated on the movie. Now as for the story of Saints Row 5, I would want it to be a new cast of characters, and I want it to be set in Stillwater, since the original Saints from the first four games are all celebrities now, and they moved away from Stillwater and moved into Steelport. I wanted to show the contrast between the original Saints and the new Saints, and no, they're not going to be roommates trying to pay off student loan debt. These Saints would actually be living in the hood of Stillwater, just like the original Saints did in the first two games. As always, you'd be able to customize your character. As for supporting characters, we'd have Chris, Jasmine, and Malik, who all have been members of the Saints since they were teenagers. The original Saints from the the first four games, who we'll call the OGs, are Unk status, meeting there in their mid 40s during the events of Saints Row 5. So I would want to make the new Saints between the ages of 19 to 24. The character Chris, although grew up in the Chinatown district of Stillwater, he'd always come to the Saints territory to hang out, and was jumped into the Saints when he was 15. Jasmine grew up in the barrio of Stillwater, which is at the time still Saints territory, but during the events of Saints Row 5, has been taken over by rival gangs. I wanted to make Jasmine the younger cousin of Carlos to give her the connection to the OG Saints. So in a way, she would represent the Saints Row fans who favored Saints Row 1 and 2 over 3 and 4. Jasmine was never jumped into the gang since everybody in her family are a part of the Saints. The character Malik would have grown up in the Red Light District, which has always been a stronghold for the Saints, since it's right next to the old Saints Row neighborhood. Just like Chris, Malik was jumped into the Saints as a teenager, and the main character you play as who we'll just call the player, or the playa. Player. 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 Grew up in the projects north of Chinatown. You don't have any ties to the OG Saints, but your character grew up hearing about them. All these characters grew up together. The Third Street Saints have been a laughing stock and not taken seriously by other gangs since the OG Saints left Stillwater and moved to Steelport, where they became celebrities. The Third Street Saints get mocked and ridiculed often by other gangs that their OGs are sellouts who star in cheesy sci fi movies. And at this point, the Third Street Saints barely have any territory in Stillwater. The majority of the members of the 3rd Street Saints are all drug addicts, and the only active members barely make any money selling drugs, and they're also not that well armed compared to other gangs. The first mission starts off with the playa and the three new Saints walking to a convenience store, getting ready to rob it. After they rob the corner store, they get ambushed by a rival gang, the Asesino Jovenes, a Mexican street gang from the Barrio District. Their colors would be orange and they drive around in lowriders and muscle cars. This results in the Saints fighting the Asesino Jovenes. They end up getting beaten pretty badly, until Malik picks a pipe up off the ground and knock two of them down, and then the last member of the Assassino Alvinus pulls out a pistol before your character begins grappling him for the gun. And when you finally get the gun from him, you end up killing the rival gang. The Playa and the Saints run back to their hood realizing they started a war with a rival gang. And the Saints agree since they're outmanned and outarmed, they had to steal weapons from another rival gang, the Somerset Apostles. This would be an African American street gang that wear trench coats with white bandanas and drove around in luxury vehicles, think like a Chrysler 300 type vehicle, and Bentleys, and Rolls Royce. The Saints break into the storage unit holding the weapons, and a shootout between the four Saints and the Somerset Apostles breaks out. The Saints return to their hood with a truckload of weapons, now realizing they're at war with both the Asesino Jovenes and the Somerset Apostles. The Saints then steal a shipment of cocaine from the Asesino Jovenes so they can sell it to fund their operations in the gang war. The Saints then start selling drugs and weapons until the Berkeley Brothers confront the Saints for selling drugs in their neighborhood. The Berkeley Brothers are more or less a redneck gang that live in the trailer park district of Stillwater. They drive with the trucks, four-wheelers, and classic muscle cars. They wear white tank tops, baseball caps, cargo shorts, and hunting camouflage. 
montage. The confrontation with the Saints and the Berkeley brothers breaks out into a shootout, which will lead to the Saints being at war with all the gangs in the city. At this point in the game, the mission structure moves from a linear path to a more open path, similar to Saints Row 2, where you can complete three separate storylines involving the three gangs of the city. You can also participate in gang wars to steal territory from rival gangs. The map will be color-coded much like Saints Row 2 and Saints Row 1 was. The color orange indicating the Assassino Jovenes territory, beige indicating the Somerset Apostles territory, and green indicating the Berkeley Brothers territory. The Saints would also begin mass recruiting people into the Saints. The storyline with the Assassino Jovenes will involve Jasmine. The big story arc of her is that she has family in the Assassino Jovenes and they constantly remind her that the Saints got Carlos killed. The Berkeley Brothers storyline would involve Malik and it will be about how the Berkeley Brothers would target and attack black citizens of Stillwater. The Somerset Apostles storyline involving Chris would focus on how the Somerset Apostles shamelessly sell opioids to people, which of course results in addiction and killing a lot of people, considering how addictive opioids are. This would personally affect Chris since his father died of opioids, and he watched his whole neighborhood fall victim to the opioid epidemic. Although the Saints do sell coke, weed, and meth, while opioids can be more easily accessible and addictive considering that they're pharmaceutical drugs. At this point in the story, you can begin to make more money from selling drugs, arms sales, and stealing money from rival gang safe houses. Meaning you're able to buy assets and earn passive income, and you can buy more safe houses that you can customize just like previous Saints Row games. And of course there would be side activities, I will bring back all the side activities from previous games, and I'll throw in some new ones. I'm not sure what exactly, I didn't think that through, I'm just more focused on the story right now, but yes, there would be side activities in this hypothetical Saints Row 5 game, so. After the Saints take out the rival gangs, a candidate for mayor proposes martial law to stop the rampant gang violence after the gang violence of Stillwater has been at an all-time low for 15 years and now skyrocketed since the Saints came back. He proposes upping the funding to police using mass surveillance and robots to combat crime. The candidate ends up winning the election and begins his crackdown on gang crime. After a SWAT team raids the Saints penthouse, they manage to escape the Steelport, and the new Saints end up confronting the old Saints and ask for them to return to Stillwater. The new Saints meet the OG Saints while they're filming a new movie, but the OG Saints decline. The OG Saints at this point, that being the boss, Shandi, Pierce, and Oleg, are pretentious celebrities who only care about their own image. The new Saints return to Stillwater, where mass rioting is taking place between the Saints and the police. The new Saints rally the Saints to fight off the police as the fighting continues. At this point, the Saints' backs are against the wall as they're outnumbered by the police. A mass shootout happens outside of the Stillwater City Hall. A cutscene will play and it shows the boss, Shandi, and Pierce watching the news in their penthouse on Steelboard, watching the new Saints fight with the police. They end up looking at a mural they have on their wall, which would be a mural of Johnny Gat. And they remember during the events of Saints Row 2 how Johnny Gat fought off the police after the assassination of Vogel. While the new Saints are fighting off the police, the OG Saints arrive in Stillwater to provide air support. As Stillwater Saints and Steelport Saints fight side by side, the Saints tell the player and the boss to move in on the mayor's office while they hold the line outside. This leads to a shootout throughout City Hall, where the player and the boss go through three stories to fight three waves of enemies. They finally arrive to the mayor's office. The mayor reveals that he rigged the election so that he can make back on his investment from providing the police with a surveillance patent that he has stock in. The confession was accidentally broadcasted to the entire city. Sheriff Troy Bradshaw comes into the office and arrests the mayor as the saints are pardoned for exposing the rigged election. A martial law is lifted from Stillwater. The new saints part ways with the OG saints, as as they continue their criminal endeavors in Stillwater, back in their spot on the biggest gang of the city. The post game allows you to travel to Steelport and allows you to use a simulation from Saints Row 4 or the President in Space movie. As for a post credit scene, the scene starts off showing an island where an uncontacted tribe is living, where we see Johnny Gat who survived the plane explosion and has been living on the island with the indigenous people for 15 years. And for anybody asking, the Gat Out of Hell DLC for Saints Row 4, I would just make that a limited time TV series that aired on Ulster Plus. Hey, Satan. Now, that was just my idea for Saints Row 5. It's really unfortunate what happened with the Saints Row reboot and Volition ended up going broke because of it. Saints Row 1 and 2 were great. 3 was cool, but it felt really short and it was pretty over the top, but it still wasn't like over over the top like they did with Saints Row 4. And with Saints Row 4, it's a bad gangster game, sure, but it's still a pretty fun game to me at least. But and then the reboot is the reboot. We're not going to talk about that. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, um, this is just my idea for Saints Row 5. 
this is what I in a perfect world if I was in charge of Volition or whatever I, I had the funding this is what I would do. So let me know down in the comment section what you would do or your ideas for a potential Saints Row 5. But if you guys did go and enjoy this video, like and comment would be appreciated. Subscribe new to the channel. And yeah, with all that out of the way, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, everybody. Hey, we had a big win today. We should do something irresponsible to celebrate. What do you have in mind? Oh, I don't know. The money fight!